Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Here I am. Okay. So because I did this on Procreate today at work, I can see there's a lot of little things I need to do. <sighs> what is that one? Let me see. Give me a second. I'm going to check. I don't even know. Okay, whatever. All right. All right. All right. I'm very tired. I didn't sleep much. I got probably about three hours of sleep. I don't know. I just couldn't sleep. No real reason. You know how that is. All right, but yeah. So, yep. Okay. So when I'm doing this, I don't know what it is. I can't like see the 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 gaps for whatever reason. Oh my god. You know how it. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. I have no idea. I'm sorry guys. I'm tired. I'm wired. Please be my friend. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and let's uh, see what I can do there. Hmm. Work wasn't too bad today. I'm just, I started tired. <gasps> I, uh, whew, one day of my narcolepsy pill left, which is great because obviously it's been working so well. Yeah, like, oh my God, how did I miss so much? It's aggravating that I couldn't see this much. I mean, I might have gotten some of it when I was doing the smudge tool at the end. I made a change the tone of her skin a bit too. You guys remember Paris, right? You're like, no. How could you not? She's been in the last storyline. She got lost her leg at one point and put it back on. It's fine, guys. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, she's one of my vampires. Oh my god, I did a great job. Okay, so like, wow, did I miss a lot on the hands. Um, okay. I tried, uh, I've been doing the, I, I, I signed up for the beta of Medi, Medi? Media Bang Pro. And it's been great so far. Sarcasm. Oh my god. Um, anyways, yeah, so like I went to take this file into it and it was like, what? This is enough. It, like it wouldn't even load it. It just would like freeze and load forever. So I'm like, okay then, I guess that's my answer on that one. Um I'll I might try um to play around with when I do the line art for uh, Venia, I think it's the only one left now to do in these. Yeah, I'm just using the, the clone tool to be lazy here. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass when this happens. But yeah, like, if you guys don't, if you haven't really used uh, any of these programs, like because uh, digital art the way it is, Oh my god. It doesn't always uh, go to the edges unless you manually tell it to. So, like, it leaves a, a pixel space, I've noticed, because of the brushes and stuff I use. So, I usually, you know, just go over back and do that. And I thought I did, but apparently, in all of my blindness, I guess, I missed a lot. Hi, Rana. I see you. Oh, he's back, guys. Oh, what was his back? Oh, what was his back? Hi, Ross. Yeah? Ross. 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 Yeah, what you doing? Oh, my gosh. He wants to come sit up here. Okay, come on. Into my lap. Lap time for the kidders. Lap time for the kidders. Lap time for the kidders. Oh, baby, what you doing? Yeah, you're a good boy? Oh my gosh, this cat. This cat, guys. You can't even see. But he's adorable. You better believe it. Okay. Get back to this. At some point, I'll have to get her references out. Yeah, where did I? Was that the other gap I saw? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Guys, if you don't keep me entertained, I'll have to leave early because I'm going to fall asleep. Yeah? What do you see, dear? What do you see, dear? Huh? What do you see, dear? This is my first stream of the new year, isn't it? Thunk. Thunk. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Thunk, 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 thunk. Thunk, thunk! Anyways. Anything exciting happened to you guys today? 
What about you, Arata? Oh, did you bother daddy? Yeah, that's always fun, right? Oh my gosh, who's here? Oh, thank you for the follow! Thank you! I, I figured with the name, actually. Look at me, sometimes I have a brain. Sometimes it works. I swear, sometimes these streams are more exciting. I'm just half dead. I was gonna take a nap, but I won't. I gotta stay up. <clears throat> also, it's uh, been a while since I've just sat and drawn without doing something. I say that and it's only been like a week, but I'm notorious for being distracted. Oh my God, look at this hand. It's just as bad. The fuck was I doing? I did this today at work on my iPad with Procreate. So like now I'm taking into Photoshop. I get to fix it all. Yeah, um, I'm an insomniac and a narcoleptic, so it, it's fun. Uh, but the medicines I'm on have not worked very well. So it's that whole, we'll find something eventually. Like, can we find it sooner than later, please? Please, I'm begging you. All right, I'm going to be lazy again and do a uh, cat. No, there's a cat in my lap, too. He's just bothering me. He's mad because I touched the keyboard. Yes, yes, Arata, I see you. Don't worry. I know you're there. In mommy's way. My cat has not seen me all day, so, because I, I worked all day. Oh God, yeah. I, I feel like so many people I know have sleeping problems and I'm like, I know a lot of it was just the way our generation grew up and the fact that like, I don't know, like, I mean, I remember I had to get up at like five in the morning for like high school and stuff or earlier. I don't even remember, it was so early. But yeah, after a while, it's like your body just wants to do that. I That's probably why I have a lot of trouble, like, sleeping in. Cat, don't you twitch your ear angrily. You're the one who sat in my lap. Yeah, get comfy. That works. He kept hitting... Well, I guess I should say my hair kept hitting him. I have it pulled back today, but it's still kind of, like, always there. When you have like three feet of hair, oh, he's gone now. Okay, I can scoot back closer to my keyboard. Oh my God, what is this? I can reach my keyboard better. Yeah, he'll just bother me later. He he literally sleeps on me all night. I love this cat. He's great. Okay, okay. Ah. Well, how was your day? Anything exciting happen? Eat anything delicious? I really like talking about food. <laughs> food? That looks better at least. Well, to be fair, I had to stop at McDonald's to get a frappe on my way to work. And I was debating on if I was going to actually get food there or wait till later. And then, like, my boss calls me and is like, hey, can you grab McDonald's for my daughter? And I was like, you know what? This is perfect timing. I am literally sitting in a pick a mobile pickup spot and haven't finished my order. So, yes, yes, I can. I like Taco Bell. But it's a little harder to eat when you work at a comic shop. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the best though. I love the nacho fries so much. I like fries. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I like fries. But yeah, I love those craving boxes too because they're really good value for that price. That's totally not the tool I wanted. Why is this not working? Because it's not the right tool. Dirt. Yeah. It started as a joke, but it's also not a lie. I really do like fries. We did a fry taste testing stream before. It was marvelous. Although I totally forgot at the time the nacho fries were still out because we could have done that too. I was like, God damn it. Instead we had like Dairy Queen fries. Ew. Those are probably my least favorite fries. I don't know. They used to be okay, but now I can't, I can barely stomach them. I'm like, my God, have they just gotten worse? Have I gotten old? 
<gasps> oh yeah, but they're still, they're also yummy. Why not just get both? Eat more fries. Simple, easy, easy. Now I kind of want Taco Bell tomorrow. I don't know, my boss is buying lunch tomorrow, so I have no idea what I'm getting. Most likely with him, it's gonna probably be Five Guys, which is okay, because I like Five Guys. I like their fries and I like their burgers, so. Uh, in general, if the food is free, I'm not going to be picky, though. I mean, I really don't want to eat a scorpion, but if it's free, I'll consider it. <laughs> I wish there was, like, more food options around where I work, but it's all, like, fast food. Um, there is a there is a local barbecue place that's pretty good, not too far from there, but they sometimes get a little pricey for what my salary can afford, which I think so many of us can re relate to that. What is money? I mean, in general, I'm very hungry depending on where it is. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going back to the days of starving at conventions where people would just start bringing me food and I was like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm going to eat this. Now I actually can afford my own food, so it's weird. <laughs> so bad an employee. Oh no, oh no. I think, uh, I don't usually hit the Taco Bell near my work. I usually hit the one near my house because uh, I work about 20 minutes from where I live. And the, the people there, I think, know me a little too well. I'm like, oh, it's you guys again. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's me again. Give me my fries. <laughs> All right, okay, that looks a lot better. All right, now let's see. I don't know if I like that for the hand though let's go back to all right let's go mess around with it uh procreate doesn't have as many layer filters i might need to change the colors on this a bit oh my god now she's got like bloody palms that's really orange damn you hungry today well that's okay i'd just be like hey, i'm not sharing with you i don't know that one kind of makes it look dirty I think it's because it's like inverted. That's what it is. That's what the problem is. I see you now. Green hands. No, I just need green. I don't know. Lately, a bunch of people have been doing that thing on Facebook where they're like, or it was right before the new year. They were like, leave me uh, some short, uh, uh, leave me a short phrase, uh, like some short, a uh, short words or whatever before the new year. And me being the uh, asshole I am, instead of like everyone else is giving them like op, like optimistic and like inspirational worlds, and I'm like telling them I'm not sharing my fries with them, and then I called my older sister short. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm not leaving you any any inspirational like short words. You're already short enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, what is that noise? Oh, batteries. Wait, what is the batteries for? Hey, that saber lights up too? That's a saber stand. I know that sand. Looks like a saber stand. Oh, okay. And then I guess that's a good call. I like food. Oh my God. What are you going to blame me? Oh my God. What sand is that? Is that? Oh my God. That's so bright. What the fuck? Whose is that? Is that? Is that really saber sand? It's that bright? Oh my God. It has a... Blinding mode. Oh okay. my god, blinding mode. Wong is setting up figures in uh my using lithium ion, there's no chance of it leaking corrosion. Oh okay, so cool. Like so should we put did you put the one in the hot eggy then? That one also has batteries. Oh it does? Yeah, I just didn't put any in. Yeah, we we started setting up our fate shells. I might have I, I sold a bunch of sabers, but I did keep a bunch too. But I my our Mordred and Ostolful shelf is the best. I like Mordred and he likes Ostolful, so Oh my god. Okay, that did not work. Uh, what do I want to do? God damn it. This is so hard. I guess I could not be lazy and like actually shade it. What if I make it like with the overlay, make it lighter? Yeah, well, it's always funny because the the daughter at my um, it, it's I work at a local um family owned comic book store. It's great actually. I love it. But um, the daughter there um, she's always like. Uh, like, you know, she knows I like fries, so she's like, I know you won't share them with me. I'm like, I mean, I, I might if you ask, but just because of that, I'm going to be an asshole and say no. 
I charge her a fry tax sometimes too. Uh, some of us seems to be a little more reddish, I think. Hum, hum, hum. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she touched ink. That kid's going places, though. She's a uh, slightly diabolic. It's beautiful. Although, <laughs> earlier today when I was helping a customer, she was there for the beginning of the day, and she snuck to my register and stole quarters for the arcade machine. I'm like, oh my god, you little brat. Because, like, the guy was like, oh my god, somebody just took money. And I was like, yeah, that's the daughter of the owner. How dare she? We, we just uh, went from a small building to a building three times the size. So we had two arcade machines, and now we have eight, I think, and a change machine. It's pretty great, actually. I haven't had a chance to play any of them yet, though, because I've actually been working. Music is always good. I was so sad. Last year, I paid somebody to help me write a song because I like writing lyrics, but I have no actual... Uh, interesting uh like i cannot actually write music so but it didn't turn out well and it was a really painful thing so i'm like god damn it i'll try again this year yes like actual old school we have street fight alpha they're like literally it's the japanese machine it's not even english uh crazy taxi was the one we just added and then uh area 51 i think and then we have some pinball machines too we have lord of the rings it is apparently a very popular one we have that one it's actually really cool i like the place a lot so I was really excited. And we have a Miss Pac-Man machine, but it's actually like one of those machines that has like 60 different games on it. So it has like, I know somebody was like, you don't have Galaga, I think is what they said. I'm like, yes, actually we do. <laughs> Nothing's happening. That person's playing Galaga. But yeah, no, um, the, the place that we were, uh, that we leased the machines from, uh, was like, can I put more machines in you, in your, in your store? We're like, we're not going to say no. Yeah, like, it's pretty cool. Like, I know he was really excited because my boss has been trying to get us a shooting and a racing game. So it's like, dude, when he got those, he was like, oh my God, these are great. I think we also have Street Fight, but it was it Capcom versus Marvel is one of, or is it? We have a couple. I don't know. I played so many different ones when I was growing up, too, that I'm like, God, I don't know. I, I, I played a lot of old ones, too. It's okay, guys. We're all old here. I just think oh, this, this isn't even changing anymore. Okay, well, I guess for now... We can... mm -hmm. It does. I just think it's really cool that we have them, too. It just, like... The amount of people who are now walking in the store and are like, Oh, my God. I see uh arcades i did have somebody ask me if they could smoke in the arcade i'm like no this is still part of our comic store don't you dare fucking smoke in my store okay i didn't actually say that to them i did kind of look at them like they grew a third head though and then they also asked me if they could have alcohol beverages like no but we now that we have a like a whole game room, it's it's gonna be really fun. <sighs> Maybe I will just not do anything with this and just leave it the normal. That should be okay. Yeah, well, so we're like on the border of Illinois and Indiana, so technically we're in Indiana. But yes, like I think even in our part of Indiana, like everything is like no, no smoking. But I'm like. Because they just, a lot of people see the arcade and they're like, gambling. It's like, no, this is like literally more like an arcade. But there really isn't any arcades anymore. Um, we lost our barricade that we had here. Oh my God, what am I doing? Get back here. Yes, I'm yelling at my avatar. I don't ever feel like putting uh, an actual camera on because I'm in pajamas. <laughs> it's been a long day. I was at work for seven hours, man. But yeah, some people just think it's like, oh man, we also are in the same strip mall as a uh, smoke shop, which doesn't necessarily help. So, but yeah, it's it's great though. Um, it's a nice building. It's uh, so much bigger than the old place. We literally just moved uh, end of December, so like or like mid December. So it's it's a much we're spreading out more. 
I love it a lot. I really like the job too, so I never thought I'd want to work retail again, and this has been really great. So far, they seem to be good. Uh, we had one issue where we thought the uh, Lord of the Rings pinball machine wasn't working, but it turned out one of the two coin things is fine, so we just covered the other one. And yeah, the uh, the place we get them from uh, does come in every like month. They kind of like give them a once over. And uh, when we did uh, before, we actually in the past we had a South Park one uh, for the pinball machine at the at the old location we had South Park. Then eventually we had the Star Wars one that we still have at this location too. But um, yeah, like it stopped working. Um, but they came in and tried to do maintenance, fix it. When it didn't fix it, they just swapped it out. So I, I'm not actually sure who we rent them from or like, well, no, it's not even like a rental. It's more like a lease because I, I guess we're not like paying for them per se. They put them up and then they take money out of it, I guess. I don't know. It's I, I don't really understand quite how it works. I just think it's cool that we have them. And yeah, like... People come all the time just to go spend some time in the arcade area. I mean, people come and spend hours in the back issues as it is. We alphabetize our back issues, and I love it because my OCD says, yes, we must do it. I like alphabetization. It's nice and clean. I spend a lot of time doing stuff like that there, too. It's probably one of the most organized comic shops I've ever been to, which is one of the reasons I was so happy that he's like, you want to work here? I'm like, yeah, man. Yes, let me have this. Oh, I don't need to be 300 in. Oh, my God. I'm really sad, though. Like, some of the places that used to do the arcades at the cons and stuff, like, I loved it when they had the initial D1. And then the round one I normally go to... Um, yeah, there's obviously not one nearby me per se, but um, I, I used to go up to the one in Bolingbrook, and I think that's the one that closed. I like that one the best. No, not Bolingbrook. Was it? I don't know. Maybe it was... No, Stratford Mall. So that probably was in Bolingbrook. Bolingbrook is one of the two Ikeas. I usually go to Schaumburg because I like going to Mitsuo, but sometimes I go to that one depending on what's uh, in stock. I like cabinets. I'd like to make like an arcade uh, game room stuff in our basement if I ever have the money. It's unfinished, so there's so much room down there. And like we we currently just clear off our kitchen table to play. I have a shit ton of board games too, so I like video games. I like board games. I really like co-op games in general. So any kind of co-op game I want to play. Like, after I'm done drawing tonight, I'm going to go do my GBO dailies, Gundam Battle Operations 2. I'm not going to stream that. I'm just going to do it. I act like the comic book store is my own, and it's not. I just get excited about it. I like small businesses. I can't help it. Yeah, but Gall Galloping Ghost is... It's an... Aug is that, is that actually Brookfield there already or no? I know where it is. I I don't know. That one I just wasn't super interested in going to. Probably because there's a lot of people and I don't like people. Every time I've been invited, they're like, there's going to be people. I'm like, I don't want to go with you guys. I sound horrible. I don't know if I've ever been to the one in Aurora. But yeah, Galloping Ghost is pretty much the closest one to me. Um, we had one in uh, in Griffith for a while. It was literally a barricade. So it had the bear and the arcade, like the booze and the arcade. But their hours were weird. And then even like, I know like at one point they had a like Zelda thing, uh, theme event. And I really wanted to go because I wanted to like, I'm going to take my Midna costume and like have fun and everything. And then it was like, didn't start until like 2 a.m. And I'm like, fuck, I got to work the next day. I can't do that. Yeah, I used to go to round one a lot, though. Okay, yeah, that's that's always, it's always good when it's empty. I mean, I don't... I think if I go on just, like, a day, like, I probably could go on a weekday because my schedule's really weird. I don't work Mondays or Fridays. Yeah, that's why I've never... I never actually ended up going to the barricade before it closed. But I used to play a lot of the... When we went to round one, I played a lot of the games there, too. Although I always wanted to go to the karaoke box. <laughs> I will go to Galpingo sometime. 
I, I I need to, but I keep every time if somebody like invites me, they're always like, yeah, we're gonna have like all these people there. I'm like, I don't want to go with that many people. No. Sometimes I spend time in the game room at conventions, depending. <laughs> virtual race. We we've been playing uh uh Yakuza three again, so I'm seeing a lot of virtual virtual fighter again, and yeah, crane machines. I like. I don't know. Yeah, with arcades sometimes. Like, I like the racing games. I like the initial D ones. I don't really like a lot of the other. Well, I'm gone Midnight's okay, too. But I'm not really good at them. So I just have fun, like, driving with the wheel when it's all set up like that. Um, for fighting games, I think the only one I'm strangely good at with arcade is the, like, really old Street Fighter ones. I don't know why. I have no... I literally have no reason for it. It's just some strange thing. <laughs> why are you not why are you not yeah that's right why are you not there we go yeah anymore though nowadays I've mostly just been doing like games on steam and stuff when I do I've been playing a lot of lethal company that one's fun so I like co-op games but I'm also okay with games that are sabotage later on too I don't know if I've ever played Maximum Tune Up. I probably did. Admittedly, I got into Initial D because I like Initial D. I'm I'm a big fan of the Mazda Arc 7FD, so that's definitely initially one. It was also in Wong on Midnight, I believe. I still have my card for it somewhere. <laughs> I have them for both of those because, you know, why not? I haven't been used it in years, but of course I have it. I think one of my cards, uh, I think I have two like cards for the initial D one and one of them is from when I was in Japan the first year I went for school. So it's like, it's not even probably valid anymore. <laughs> I don't even know which machine that would have been. My God, that was so long ago. It's like 05, 04. What year is it? <laughs> There's a lot of fun cars. I'm really, uh, it, I, I'm really interested in um, the uh, new Toyota 862. I, I watched. Uh... God, what is this equal to initial D? MF Ghost, and I really like how they portrayed the car. And then I started reading up, and I'm like, damn. I drive a Mitsubishi Eclipse myself, though, so it's not exactly super fancy, but it looks fast. Ooh. Well, Subarus are good, too. I like the Impreza a lot. But, yeah, uh, we actually have the uh, original AE86, uh, like the really old school Toyota one, uh, in my at the garage at my parents' house. It's my sister's car, but um, it's a restoration project that never got super far. It's pretty cool, though. It probably needs to have, like, the tires all redone, though, at this point, because they've been left on. So I'm like, oh, my God, that poor baby. Yeah, I, I don't know, because after, after, when I have to trade this car in, I just paid it off, don't you dare touch it. But once I have to trade this car in, um, this this is the last, this is fourth gen Mitsubishi Eclipse. Uh, uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is not an Eclipse. I refuse to acknowledge it as such. So I'm going to have to, like, change, though, and get a different brand, because now they don't have any cars I like in Mitsubishi anymore. I just happened to be, uh, you know, it just happened to be the first car I got, and it just worked really well so i've stuck with it second to fourth gen so mm. well yeah i drive a two-door sports car so i can't say anything which is why it's great when people are like hey let's go places and i'm like they're like you drive but you're okay with driving in the city and i'm like i still drive the sports car guys i know i have such weird references ignore my references i have a lot of pinups um where the hell is that I swear I have that saved. Uh, fine, we'll go into those kiosks. Uh, is it here? No. Paris. Oh, why would it be in that chapter? This would be Paris's chapter. Guys, I don't have references because I'm dumb. I don't think I have a full body of her on here, so I'll just have to take two. Because I need your feet too, ma'am. Your tights. 
There we go. Like, where I live, there is no public transit. <laughs> my first car was a manual. Yeah, my, my first Mitsubishi, or my first Eclipse baby wasn't a manual. And then he got totaled on my birthday. It's 7 a.m. It was sad. Hit by a Buick who ran a stop sign right near my parents' house. Civic, I, Civics are pretty nice, though. They, I mean, they're also really reliable, which is good. Yeah, no, the, that's why I've been like so crazy about my car uh, that I just paid off because like, so my second car uh, that replaced the first one actually did last for a really long time. Um, eventually I had to, um, I, I sold it to get the, the car, uh, my first fourth gen because the uh, drivetrain and stuff was going and it was like, it was fixable, but it was so much money to fix it. And I'm like, this car was like a $4,000 car. I can't afford to pay that much to fix it. But uh, one of the mechanics at the place uh, bought, wanted to buy my car. So I got a lot of, I actually got a pretty good deal on it. I got way more, I got like 800 off of it, which considering how old that car was and how much mileage, I was really shocked. But that one was already automatic. And then, uh, yeah, the, the last car I had, um, Right near the beginning of the pandemic, um, I was on my way back from something and I got hit by a driver right after it was right shortly after I paid it off and they literally ran under it with their SUV and tore out the, the like the bottom and it was so freaking painful looking for a used car during that too, of course. And even now used cars are harder to find, but I was like, I'm still salty about that. And of course, to make it even worse, I had just installed, uh, like bought myself, splurged and bought myself an actual stereo unit so I could plug in my iPod and not have to use CDs. Like, let me join the 21st century, please. And yeah, so it was like, I had to rip that out because I hadn't even finished paying that off yet. And uh, while we were trying to get it reinstalled for my next car, uh, my dad tore out wires and did $600 of damage. So I was like, oh my God. So that, that was fun. That was in the one I have now. So yeah, that's why I'm like, I've already paid off him. Uh, I do not need him to to have anything. Um, I've been a little skittish about driving. Today I almost got hit again. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? Somebody was like, oh no, this person's making a left turn. Let me kind of cut awkwardly into the right lane while you're trying to... I was slowing down, luckily, because I was getting ready to make my turn to go into the comic book store. But I was like, god fucking damn it, guys. I swear that stretch of Ridge Road right between Illinois and Indiana is like the worst for drivers. I hate it. Yeah, I'm just paranoid about getting that car hit now. So that, that's what I tell everyone to stay away from it. Don't even think about it. He's pretty though. I like my red cars, so he's red. It's like, it's called like Sunset Red or some shit. Uh, it's like kind of orangey red oh my god that's not what i wanted i need to lower this opacity i keep feeling something vibrate is that my phone yeah okay that's nothing that's nothing to be scary i don't know i feel like during the pandemic like everyone forgot how to drive <laughs> hello hello geo welcome welcome yeah it's a fourth john it's a Let's see, my first one was a 2008. So this is a 2011? Yeah, I, I literally just replaced a fourth gen with a fourth gen. Because I finally found one I liked. It was more money than I really wanted to pay, but it's also like I, I need a car because in Indiana, we don't have public transit. I mean, I can take a train to Chicago after I drive like half an hour to get to said train station. <gasps> Although they're expanding the train station. I'm so happy. I'm tired, but otherwise good. How about you? I had a very sleepy day. Or I should say I didn't have enough sleep last night. So you guys are keeping me awake. I love it. Oh, oh. I think my car is cute. It's not super fast. My second gen was way faster. The torque was better and everything, but it's cute. And schmoll. 
I, like I said, I just enjoy that none of my friends really like uh, to... Like, a lot of my friends are uncomfortable driving into the city proper. I don't blame them. I don't really like going into Chicago if I can help it, but I don't mind driving, like, to Schaumburg and stuff. In fact, to me, that's a really easy drive. Before the narcolepsy got really bad, it was no problem. Now I have to just make sure I have a passenger with me, and I'm fine. Although I do definitely blare my music and sing along with it if I'm alone. Yeah! I am also in Indiana, but barely. We're the part that's not even on the, sa the same time zone as the rest of Indiana, which is always really funny to explain to people. They're like, but Indiana's on Eastern. I'm like, I know, but not my corner. We're on Central. <laughs> We're almost cool. Oh, college classes. Like, wait. Just finish. Like the, oh, you just had. So you, did, oh my God, I'm reading that wrong. You just finished. I was like, what? You're out of college. This is a weird time for the semester to stop. Wait, when does the semester end, though? I know there was a May semester when I was in... God, it's been a while since I've been in college. Sorry, guys. I'm that old. Mm. Oh, my God. My um, mom had Chrysler vans growing up, and they are awful. What the hell are you doing, camera? Nobody else is even in the room with me. Stop breaking up ghosts behind me. Oh my god. But yeah, she has a Mazda now. And it's a lot more reliable. Although she drives it a little hard. Because I, I borrowed it once to drive to a con in Michigan uh, with me, uh, Wong, and Ranafe. And it's really funny because that car drove so freaking smooth when I drove it. <laughs> I'm like, I feel good. That car likes me. It's a Mazda 3. No, Mazda 5? I don't know. It's a Mazda van. Good. Well, I, I, I don't know. I feel like if you're spending that much money on something, why would you not want to take care of it? Vroom, vroom. I like Mazda, so they're cute. I just, I don't know. I don't, there's no models that are actively out that I'd want. And I, as much as I like rotaries for the RX-7s, there's no way in hell I could take care of a rotary. They're not cheap. And I do not have car skills. I understand them, but I can't do them. My little sister did automotive, so I, I know a bit from her. And then my big sister had a lot of friends who were into it, so... That should work. Hey, a little. Ah. Maybe do that and then make this one a little thing. Oh, okay. Oh, so it does start. It did just start. Prop list. Whoa, fancy. It's so weird. I did like nothing uh, as far as like stuff at my, well, I ran the anime school, uh, anime school, wow. The anime club, the last year in high school, uh, but I was one of the people running it. But other than that, um, in college, we had a gaming group that I kind of hung out with, but I wasn't really part of. I, I met a lot of people through that. You're the stage crew. Yeah, well, I think that would be the only thing I could ever do in theater. Like, obviously, when I'm on stream, I can talk and sing just fine. But uh, I do get a little nervous singing still. But I don't like people looking at me when I do performances. <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> I was joking with a kid in the store today and just being like, I'm just going to go. Because we were talking about theater. And I'm like, I'm just going to go all Phantom of the Opera on everyone. And just wear a mask and, you know, hit an organ. I cannot play an organ anyways. Nice. Yeah, in our case, we didn't start it until I was in my senior. So it was weird. I graduated high school early, so it was my senior semester instead of year. But I ran it with my little sister and uh, two of my friends who were both. The two friends were also a grade younger than me because I was the oldest. My little sister was two grades younger. And then, um, yeah, the other friends were one. But uh, I came back and still visited even after I was in college, so. Do it. Wear a doge mask. I think, uh, can, like, most of the times, like, because I've entered karaoke contests at conventions, it helps because I'm in costume. I've been using my real hair for more costumes than I used to, but I still do wigs a lot. Um, but I have 36 inches of hair. I can literally sit on it. So it's always fun when I just stick it under a wig and then people don't believe me. And so then they see me and they're like, "Are you, what? What? That was really your hair? I'm like, I'm not kidding. Guys, I swear, I wasn't lying. I just used to be in dance, so I know how to put up a hair underneath a wig. Plus, my hair is also thinner than it looks. It's just poofy. 
like a poodle. Poof. That's also kind of why I don't have it short because I would literally like just frizz up so bad. I also got a new wig cap that's way more comfortable than what I used to wear. Use a Kaisel. Oh, Kiesel. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm 5'7 and I drive a sports car, which is okay because I'm used to it. But there's been times uh, I've had friends who were kind of, oh my God, kind of linky drive with me. And it's always hilarious because they barely can like get in. Or one time one of them was like, I'll sit in the back seat. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know how we got him out. Yeah, I realized it was Kia after a second because I'm like, Kai Soul, that sounds cool. And then I was like, it's a Kia. Hey, drive what you want. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Height doesn't matter. It's okay to be uncomfortable, right? It just annoys me when people know what kind of car I drive and then get mad that I drive it to places when they ask me to drive. I'm like, what? Were you going to lend me your car? No. So don't get mad that I drive a small car. I'm going to continue to drive small car because I like small car. There's a cat screaming behind me. You guys can't hear it because my uh, the way this microphone set up. I just only hear. Meow, meow. I don't know what he's doing. Orange cats, they scream a lot. If you've not had the pleasure to meet an orange cat, you should. They're great. I love orange cats. They're so weird. I can sit civic here a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I just, because I grew, because I've, my Mitsubishi just happened to be my first car with the Eclipse. I just kind of stuck with it as long as I could, but I said, I know this will be the last one because they don't exist anymore. Is he stuck in something or is he just screaming? Good. You know, I love orange cats. They're just so weird. Oh my God. It's the small as a Miata. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Miatas are way smaller than uh, my Eclipse, for sure. I probably could fit the Eclipse into, or the Miata into the Eclipse, the other way around. Cat, are you stuck somewhere? Oh my god, he is. God damn it. Hold on one second. He's in the closet in this room. That's where he is. Okay, that's why I heard it so close. He was literally in the closet behind me. Longer in there to get batteries out a bit ago. So I was like, that makes sense. Squatting to jump in. Yeah, so you're the same height as me. Yeah, no, some of those cars, I'm like, they're cute. But like when I go to, when I've gone to auto shows in the past, it's like trying to get into some of those small cars to like test them is like, oh my God, it's cute. But how the fuck am I getting out? Also, as I've gotten older, my knees are just like, nope. Well, so my cat is definitely my orange one. I have two. Uh, I have an orange cat and then I have a Himalayan. My orange cat, Arata, is the usually obnoxious one that I also share lots of pictures with. Because he, he's my baby. He was my cat. But um, he learned how to open our uh, closet door in our bedroom, which this one has the same kind of handle, but he's never tried to open it. But he is literally, I've watched him open the closet in the bedroom and like, what are you doing? Himalayan, him sitting. I always joke with people when they like see her. Uh, her name is Kana, and I'm always like, "Yeah, that's that's our designer cat." Wong punched her in the face. <laughs> he did not. <gasps> I mean, I wouldn't mind having like one more cat just because Arata. Like, so Kana, our our Himalayan, she's old. She's a little. She's also only like four pounds. She's so, but she she's been a lot more happy and loving to me lately. So I'm happy. She likes me now. She's only been with around me for like 10 years. No, it hasn't been that long, but uh, long enough. I've known her for 10 years, but so yeah, she's, she's, she's a little sweetheart at times. And she's also strangely really good with kids, which I did not expect. My, uh, my friends, uh, brought over their children once and I expected her to be like, Oh my fucking God, kids get these loud ass things away from me. And said, she's like, no, I want to go play with them. I'm like, Oh, okay. Okay, Grandma, you won't play with your brother who wants to play, but you're okay with these small children? Are they as dramatic as... No, so, well, she's... We call her Queen Kana. Because she does act very, uh, like... Entitled? But her sister, Chiaki, who unfortunately passed away a few years back, 
was definitely the more crazy, rambunctious one. And she, her and Arata would play like crazy. And then they would corner Kana, and I was like, God damn it, guys. But yeah, uh, Arata is, uh, what do you call him? Medium haired? Orange cat. He's a little, like, orange tabby with his little, he, he's got a lot of white on him, too. But he, his little nose looks like he, like, ate something and got smudged on his face. It's so cute. But yes, he definitely yells a lot. Although it's weird too because uh, he likes his, like, he's gotten so used to sleeping with us because I have had him since he was really young that he literally just sleeps all night with, like, on me now. So he doesn't really do it during the night. He does it during the day. He always waits for Wong to be home on a meeting. Or when I'm on the doctor, like a com uh, like a call for the doctor and he's like, Oh my god, mom, mom, I gotta scream. The songs of my people. He's a good boy, though. God damn it. I see another part I missed on the skin. I didn't even look at the feet. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do a lot of clean about the hair anyways. I love cats. I want to get a dog. Like, my, I grew up with a lot of dogs. Uh, my, my parents always had a lot of animals. So at one time, my parents literally had five dogs in our house. It was awful. Because they were all uh, big, big dogs. They were, main, uh, if you guys are familiar with, like, coon hounds, they were specifically treeing walker coon hounds. And they get about like 70 pounds, but there were five of them. So it was just like, oh my God, there's too many. I I didn't dislike them. They just were too many. But I want to get a dog, um, but I, I have to get a fence yard first. My yard does not have a fence and it's not a high priority because I want to do other repairs on house first. We bought a house. And it's, it's not bad. It just, you know, all houses need little things here and there. Woofers. Oh my God. Yeah. Like we had talked about possibly having, um, my older sister cosplaying kitten move in with us, uh, while she was looking for a different place to stay. But, uh, she has three cats and we have, she only used to have two, but she has three cats. We have two now. Uh, we used to also only have three. So we, we had three. She had two. And we kind of reversed it now. But we're like, five cats might be a bit too much. I mean, we have the room for sure. Like, no doubt we have the room. But also, um, yeah, it's like, that's just a lot of extra expense. But, you know, I guess it uh, depends on what you do. I collect figures and magic cards. So, <laughs> yeah. Crack and state. <laughs> No, but growing up, we had like lot. We had tons. We had doggies and kitties and lizards and turtles and fishies and birds. In fact, uh, most of our turtles came from the duck pond that was near my parents' house. I would just we just go and get them and catch them. Sometimes we caught like I remember we caught anoles in Florida and brought them all the way back. I don't know if that's technically legal, but I was also like six, so. We, we, the rest of the ones we had after that we bought. My dad, like, had an obsession with fish and birds. Um, that's how I found out I'm allergic to birds. <laughs> and we had guinea pigs and hamsters. Um, I, I, I think the funniest thing to me, though, was, uh, oops. The, uh, um, the turtles that we had because we we had all four of the ninja turtles but only three of them ever got into the house because i somehow managed to bring back the for the fourth one i brought back a snapping turtle i literally walked the 15 minute walk home with a snapping turtle and it never bit me i don't know how and then of course as soon as i end to my mom it bites her <laughs> she's like what the fuck <laughs> we're not taking this turtle i'm gonna go put it back and i was like it's my friend I had snails for a while, but my sister's goldfish ate them. Yeah, no, Indiana isn't exactly a great state. I like this corner of it because we're basically Illinois, but overall, no, Indiana is not a great state. Uh, it has a lot of issues, and I still have to laugh every time people are like, oh my god, look at that great infrastructure. Like, what? We had how many bridges collapse uh, the year... Pence became um, vice president. I think we had like three or four major bridges uh, collapse. I used to drive down to my friends in uh, Indianapolis all the time. And for a while, the bridges right on 65 near Lafayette were down. So that was always a weird thing. They had to literally like close the bridge temporarily to rebuild it. Like infrastructure, man. Infrastructure. 
What is infrastructure? Oh, awesome. I like to write too. I, I write, uh, I would say I write novels and comics as well. I like uh, fantasy. Gary, Indiana is always an interesting <laughs> experience. Did you go to the old church there? Is that why? Or did you just like drive through randomly? I used to teach in Miller Beach, which is the only good part of Gary, Indiana. Well, okay, it used to only be Robinson. I don't know where that is actually. I feel like I should. Maybe it's because I'm just tired. Okay. Oh, God. I always wanted to go there and do a Resident Evil shoot, but I never got around to it. I just want to go to some abandoned places. Robinson, Illinois. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've probably driven past it. I just am not as familiar with it. I I used to travel all the time for conventions, so I've been all over. Damn, that's nice, though. Yeah, I always wanted to go, but I was always so leery about it. And then, of course, you had to go so early in the morning, and I was like, oh. We were actually going to try to do some... Um, <laughs> a barn burned down next to my uh, next to Cosplay and Kitten's uh, house long ago. So we were going to take our Jill and Rebecca out and do some photos there, but we never actually got around to it before they tore it down. You were born there. Oh, okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I think the both of those seem like i've seen the pictures i've never seen the abandoned hospital pictures i'll have to look at them if you have some on your uh facebook you can always just shoot them to me too so i can know where to go but yeah the the church always looks so pretty i also thought about it would be good for midna i'm possibly even to be from near although i was kind of concerned about those two because their shoes aren't as protective as jill's jill's have got combat boots on i'm fine Yeah, Jill's isn't one of those perfect uh, examples of nobody expects my hair to be as long as it is because I get it under that wig. And it looks somewhat natural. I love that wig, though. It's amazing. It's the only time... I don't really like myself in dark hair, typically, but I like how I look as Jill, so I'll allow it. Oh! Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's understandable. I don't blame you. Soccer's no fun. No fun at all. There'll be no stocking here, only wholesome stocking. Wait, that's not right. Oh, it's Terre Haute. Okay, I know where that is. Yeah, that I know where it is. And yes, you're right. Terre Haute is a... Huh. Yeah, that one I can agree with. Yeah, I live in the northwest corner. So like I said, I'm basically part of... Uh, I'm basically a suburb of Chicago. If I try to point out where people are, I'm not far from Gary, that is true, but I'm far enough from Gary that I don't deal with Gary. Because I'm actually a lot closer to Illinois than I am Gary. Yeah, I know at the very least, I'll probably take Jill out to a parking garage at some point. We should, I think we got a photo at, together at C2E2 one year, just a photo in the middle of nowhere, but we should try to do a shoot together sometime at a con. Oh my god, that's not fun. I luckily live in a safe area, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That was right. That was the time I had no voice either. <laughs> I don't know what it was. My voice was gone. I wasn't sick, but I sounded like I was like, like dying. I had no voice, so I didn't say much. I'm sorry, guys. I was not antisocial. I just couldn't talk comfortably. Yeah, I don't... I used to... So I used to be in competitive tumbling, uh, which is like gymnastics, but floor only. And we went to Terre Haute for several tumbling meets. That's that's my main memories of that. I don't even know what school we went to to compete at. Oh, you're visiting your girlfriend. Okay. But yeah, be careful of the windows. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I'm still using Jill from the first game, so I love that outfit the best. Although I do want to, uh, I've redone parts of it. I might actually, I also really like Ada, but I don't think I could pull her off. Speak, speak person. I was like really hoarse. <laughs> no, like I was really like, yeah, my, my voice was like totally gone. It literally sounded awful. Is this the right color? This thing looks off. Are my eyes just deceiving me? Yes, my eyes just deceive me. 
I have color perception issues, so this is what happens. Or wear a suit. Yeah, that works too. I'm actually, <laughs> my fiance did uh, Kennedy once for us just because uh, I have a jacket that works for it and I, he wears the same size as me. But I'm trying to get him to go as Ada because I think he could pull it off. <laughs> He's Asian too. <laughs> I'm so mean, but he would make a pretty Asian Ada. <laughs> no one. Yeah, Leon's my favorite Resident Evil character, but I mean, like, isn't that almost everyone's? I do really like Jill, though, a lot, too. And then Ada. Actually, I was really surprised. I really liked Rebecca. I didn't think I would, but she was an amazing character. Resident Evil has a pretty good cast all around. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I wasn't being an asshole. I just was having issues. I, I do get a little tired and groggy at cons sometimes, and I usually am behind my table in Artist Alley, so C2E2 is a weird one where I don't. I'm actually out on the floor walking around. Although I haven't been in a couple years because I was on crutches for a bit, so. I mean, that's understandable, but I'm just like, whatever. Guys, have fun. If you're obnoxious, I'll ignore you. A taser to high school. That's actually... I feel like that's not that uncommon. It should be, but I don't think it is. I don't know. At this point, isn't everyone bringing guns to school? Don't do it. I hate it. It's so dumb. Guys, don't bring guns. Bring hugs. Just hug everyone. Kill people with kindness. Says the girl who likes violence. Yeah, honestly, I really enjoy the remake too. But I mean, a lot of it, I, yeah, I, I understand like the time period and stuff when the games were written versus now and things change. He's pretty, so it works. <laughs> yes, I'm one of those. No, I like the character development too. You know what? I'm pretty sure almost everybody could pinpoint a teacher at some point that got arrested. I don't know. Mostly in my high school, I remember the one teacher who got his sweater stuck in the window and wouldn't tell any of us. So he just like taught the class from the window and we're like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He was like probably in his 70s and then later during lunch one of the other teachers realized he hadn't come out yet and went to go see him and found out he had gotten his sweater stuck and that's when he finally got out i was like my god what is wrong with you sir what is wrong with you i do not miss high school or college a uh, college wasn't too bad though i i met a lot of my best friends there that i'm still friends with now Good. I'm in worse shape than I've ever been, but that's autoimmune. That's why I'm trying to get some of my stuff fixed, uh, like especially like the lith lith lethargy and uh, fatigue, so I can like actually do more stuff again. Because I was doing really good at getting better into shape, and then like, well, my knee went out first, and I was on crutches for a year and a half, so that definitely killed a lot of it. But I, I'm off crutches. I can walk again, mostly. My ankles have been bothering me, so I, I had to cancel a couple things that involved a lot of walking because I'm like, I need to get things fixed first. But I'm doing better now. I'm actually, this is day two of me not being on my painkillers for my uh, ankles, so I'm doing fine. I didn't sleep well, but I don't think it actually had to do with pain this time. Middle school is the worst, uh, honestly. For me, I was bullied really bad in middle school. In high school, I was just antisocial. I was legit antisocial for a while. Because after all the bullying, I just hated people. It happens. Now I'm better again. But I, I've met some good people as part of it. It's like after a while, you realize that there are good people. And people can change. Uh, some people don't. But some people do. And the, for, like I said, some of the people I've met in college have just been amazing people. And I'm so happy that I'm still friends with them and I'm still hanging with them. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I went to... Uh, I I started going to see somebody for my anxiety uh, actually just a couple years back. But I didn't really think they were helping. So I, I quit. 
I know that sounds bad, but it wasn't because I don't want to get help. That's not it. It's like, I don't know about you, but when the, one of the first things that comes out of their mouth is there's some apps that can help you. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, I was, I was pretty badly. I was the one who got bullied in middle school. I mean, my friends did too, but I think that's why we all got close. I'm st actually still friends with somebody I went to uh, elementary school with. And then uh, one girl that I didn't go to uh, middle school with, but so our situation here is really weird. Like there's a, I was a smart kid guys. Uh, merit class is what it was called. And so like you would get tested in third grade and if you were smart enough, which I was, I guess, because I tested, at least I tested well enough for it. Uh, they sent you off to a different school, a third and fourth or fourth and fifth grade class that was mixed from all the different schools in the area. And that's where I met my friend Satori, which, um, yeah, you probably won't see too much of her because she does live, she lives in Lafayette, so I don't see her that often anymore. But um, yeah, so I was hanging out with a lot with her and we became besties during that. And then when we went to middle school, because we were in different cities, she went to a different middle school. There's only two middle schools in my district. But she made a friend there that I met, that I, w I also got along with. And like, it was her, me, and um, uh, Kitten were all kind of basically like inseparable, the four of us. So yeah, I still talk to them both and hang out with them. And it's great because nothing really has changed between us. We're all still just as weird. We're just weird adults. You sh God. Yeah, I mean, I probably stopped growing around the same time. I never grew facial hair, though. I'm sorry. I did Photoshop facial hair on myself before, but I told everyone I was Iron Man and gave myself Iron Man's facial hair. <laughs> yeah, no, my, my height has consistently stayed 5'7", but I... I always was kind of annoyed at it as a kid, though, too, because there were so many girls my age that were shorter. Oh, my God. When I went to Japan for school, it was so weird because they were so much shorter. Oh, my God. Ads. What are you doing? Ads. I, I thought I set these differently. Yeah, Twitch makes it, I think, so I can't even, like, turn them off now. I just have to set them for, like, a specific period of time. Ads. Ads. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, yes. They at least give me some revenue. I'd be better. Everyone has ads nowadays. This is an ad. It's not an ad. <laughs> Buy more french fries. That's my ad. Probably about time I got off anyways. I want to go play Gundam. <laughs> I just figured I'd finish uh, flat coloring her hair first. My, Who the hell gave her this much hair? Oh, right. It was me. Is that? Oh, my God. What did I just do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. I hope it's not too long of an ad. Sorry, guys. I need to do her tight still, too. Oh, sh Ma'am, what do your tights look like? Oh, they're dark. Meow Mix! Meow, 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 What is it? I want chicken. I want liver. I want meow mix. Please deliver. I don't actually want cat food, though, so please do not deliver. You can deliver fries, though. That's fine. I was like, I'm going to do her tights, too. <laughs> was that one of the ads? Wait, how many ads did you guys see? I've been trying to keep the ads so you don't have to see them. I'm sorry. I can't control them. Sansa mix? Three ads. Oh, wow. Wow. I hate ads. Oh my god, these look so weird. Oh. That one actually might not be too bad. Uh, might be too light though. 
I'll play around with this more later, I think, but. Yeah, that's like so. <sighs> oh my god, she's white now. Oh, that's uh, interesting. I'll play around with it and see what I get. I must have a following. I don't, though. I mean, not particularly. Sounds a mix. Oh, my God. All right. So I am going to go out, get off now and go play Gundam. Thank you guys for keeping me company, though. It made it a lot easier to stream. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go find somebody to raid because you always got to raid someone. That's the rule. That's my rule. Yo-yos. Let's see. What are people playing? Hmm. I always try to find the person who is playing, who has the least followers playing something. And preferably something. Oh my god. Hider Saki's playing Tales of Arise. Oh, he always gets me. It's Tales of Tuesday for him. That's always a fun one. I still need to finish that one though. But I'm just going to go hop on GBO and continue working while I wait for games. So yeah. Thank you guys. So we're going to go follow Hirusaki or go watch him. He's playing Tales of Arise. Uh, he is a friend of mine, so that I know through the interwebs. Don't we all know each other through the interwebs? So go ahead and watch him. And I hope to see you guys again. Um, I will probably not be streaming uh, this weekend, and I will be taking next week off because I am taking a vacation for myself. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to rest. All right, but let's go. Ikuwa yo!